All right, we're gonna talk about Surfer SEO today. We're gonna go through a review of what's good about it, what, what's working well, a tutorial on exactly how we use it within the system at, and the team at Content Refined, and then a case study talking about the results that we're able to achieve uh, leveraging Surfer. So we're gonna look at this uh, Surfer Analyzer, the content editor, go through a rev review of it, a tutorial of it, and the case study. So walk through exactly how we use it within our system and the case study results that we were able to achieve. So let's dive into Surfer and, and talk about what it does. So first we're gonna get our procedure, you can get our procedure at authoritywebsiteincome.com slash how to use Surfer SEO. And we're gonna go through Surfer Analyzer and it's exactly how we use it to create the instructions to send off to our content editor. And then that editor sends it back for us to put into the content editor system and then we review to ensure that the changes that have been made are optimal for Surfer SEO. So what is Surfer SEO? So it is a new tool, uh, I guess a couple years old, uh, that you leverages correlation SEO. So basically it looks at what are the top results on Google and what commonalities amongst those top results are consistent across all of them and how can you make a piece of content that will be similar that clearly Google will want to rank on the first page considering it has ranked all these other similar pages to what it's recommending you create. So it'll rec make recommendations around keywords, word count, um, headings, number of images, etc. So we're going to go through this example um, of just how we would do this for uh, if we were going after picking this keyword, content writing versus content marketing. And so you just go to open it up, go to SERP Analyzer, create query. And then while it is loading, we uh, we wait. There's, there's a several other features about Sur uh, Surfer that are um, exciting. The NLP, um, so used a couple last month, haven't you dug into it that much? We have a different tool um, that we use fairly heavily on the sort of predictive um, ranking determination tool. Um, we call that Market Muse. So while this is loading, we'll just uh, yeah, take, take some minute, some positives about Surfer SEO. Uh, extremely easy to use. Um, of all the tools it's pro that we're going to talk about, it's probably the most easy to use. It is fairly quick, um, which is which is great. Um, it provides some fairly intuitive insights. So this shows typical word count for the top first to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 31, 31 to 40. And so it says, okay, clearly, potentially in that 1750 to 2000 word count range is where Google wants to rank, um, is, is the length that Google wants to rank. And so now if your article is ranking on this page, it can be extremely useful to be able to do a direct audit on that piece of content. Um, typically, we won't have the uh, article ranking already when we're creating the brief, and so typically we're using Surfer SEO by going in and uh, going in and using the content editor primarily. In this case, because we wanted to show the full sort of suite of the tool. If we were wanting to try and identify uh, how do we improve this piece of content, we come in here and pick, find it, and I think we're like ranking like 30th or something right now, um, and use that to, oh, 44th, okay. So this lets us know all of the keywords that we're either over optimized for, looks like we need to should this suggesting that we remove six, add two to seven of these. And so based on where we're ranking, it gives us recommendations on what we should be making, what what changes we should be making. So add words in the body. 
add words in a paragraph, consider removing uh, 37 to 85 words in strong B. So, so it gives us a whole bunch of recommendations. Not always do these make sense, which is which is you know totally reasonable considering the the complexity of the tool and what it's trying to achieve. And so we don't always need to execute exactly the recommendations that they suggest. But I'm going to go and show you now. So this we can create copy shareable link. We can export and then send that off to our editor to to say hey go improve this improve this article targeting the ability to rank for this keyword. But what I'm going to show you, so that's, that's the audit tool. And let's go into the content editor tool now. And we use this heavily when it comes to creating briefs. And so when we're needing to create a brief to send off to a writer, we can go in and create, uh, enter the keyword that we're trying to create run it through the tool, pick which of these, uh, so the first tip here is to pick which of these uh, websites are the most similar to the one that we're trying to use. So we're not like Cora, so let's make sure we remove that. Um, typically you're looking for sites that have domain traffic that'll be similar to yours and a word count that isn't utterly insane if that's what you're also if you're trying to not create something that's crazy you know it's sometimes you need to it's you can't ignore it so those seem to be kind of the the most applicable hit save changes and then it gives us a recommended word count of 1300 gives us a whole bunch of terms we get to we can add terms if we want. Um, if we look through here and we say, "Yep, the the, t the term you've picked definitely makes sense to be included," we can uh, we can add them in, and then we can look at what questions they've been, they have suggested that we answer. And sometimes there'll be additional questions in here. If you need to make any notes to leave to your editor, you can put it in here. Finalize customization, and then you can either create it directly in here. Um, or what I what we typically do is we will export the guidelines and then be able to open that as a text file copy this into a Google document that that includes the rest of the writing instructions and then the editor has uh, fairly good guidelines on what they should be thinking about when they are creating that piece of content in terms of the keywords to include and this plus a great outline generally leads to uh, a quality article that answers the searcher's query and provides a sig you know significant predictive ability to rank in Google so that that's a quick overview of surfer on how we use it within you know my portfolio and within uh, content refined now let's talk about this case study we did and the results that we were able to achieve with Surfer. So the, this is an analysis that we did where we took three tools, um, Surfer, SEO, Page Optimizer Pro, and Market Muse. We ran it through three different articles, through three different tools. So did three different websites, one article at each of those websites was used for each of the, with each of those tools. So website one used Surfer, Website two use Surfer. Website three use Surfer. The same as Page Optimizer Pro and Market Muse. And these were the traffic results as a result of running the article through that analysis that we just did in terms of the auditing the tool, making the changes, and then putting it into Content Editor to verify that what we've created is going to be a, a, an optimal article for for ranking. The impact uh, after two weeks. So we made the changes. Uh, executed the changes on January 11th and by January 31st uh, the the basically kind of two a little over two weeks after the traffic increased by 61% uh, with the service article the affiliate article performing the best and the ecom article with just a small lift comparison of tools so we're going to go through the other tools in some separate videos but surfer seo perform outperformed um, 
neither of the other tools with market Muse performing the best out of all the tools page optimizer pro and surfer uh, came in tied in terms of the ranking improvement traffic improvement for those articles we did only have a sample size of three for each tool um, so you know a long way from sort of the statistically significant um, rankings that we'd be able to achieve but in this world where we can only live with you know within seo we can only live within uh you know correlation um this this gives me a great indication of clearly we should the clearly these all these tools work extremely well and we're going to keep uh keep pushing on using them within our within our systems to uh to help give us the ability to uh, predict our ranking all right hope you enjoyed the video and uh be sure to go check out the uh, the article um, that's in, mentioned in the notes here and have a look at the other videos looking at Page Optimizer Pro and Market Muse.